All right, so most traders know when to or can find a good uh, setup to get into the market, but what they always struggle with is knowing uh, when to get out of a trade early enough uh, to prevent themselves from actually being stopped out in the market. A lot of people will take trades and the market will come back against them and they'll try to hold on to it thinking the market is either going to push uh, to a, another level or zone of interest um, and then it just comes back against you and stops you out. So there are some signs and things to really look for uh, if you are trying to hold a trade and at the same time you are uh, trying to maximize profits as well but you need to know what to really kind of focus in on so that you don't get uh, tricked or trapped into uh, becoming liquidity and the market stopping you out, meaning running your stop loss. So let's take a look because I want to show you just using an example um, and how I do how, you know, how I go about uh, holding trades. But then I also look at momentum in the market, meaning if I'm taking a short entry, which I'm going to show you, uh, for example, right here, this was a supply zone. You can see the aggressive area of selling. But if you're a first time viewer here on the channel and you don't know anything about supply and demand, first and foremost, please stop and do yourself the biggest favor to understand or at least get a general understanding of what supply and demand is, is really all about. Um, the, the key focus in, in trading supply and demand is understanding what the banks and institutions are really doing, okay, in a sense. Uh, and specifically, you could find these areas, which I like to call footprints, uh, areas on the chart because they're always leaving behind aggressive areas of buying or selling, but you have to pay close attention to what's going on in the market as well, meaning market structure. Strategies, again, they work, but you can only pair a strategy with or in the direction with the market, okay? Um, you may find a strategy that works for you and you're consistent, and then all of a sudden stops working, and it's, it's more than likely it's not the strategy. It's the fact is you just didn't understand how to read the market the correct way. So that's why I stress highly on this channel um the concept about market structure being able to read uh structure the market first and foremost and then tying in and you know understanding or developing devising a strategy that works for you but let's go ahead and focus in and talk about what can we do the signs to help us get out of a trade quick enough so that our winners we can allow them to win and maximize profits to in order to grow our accounts but uh, but we also want to eliminate, you know, the or know when to get out of a trade quick enough so it doesn't come back against us and stop us out to where we lose money. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. So by now, you should be able to uh, identify, especially if you've been trading supply and demand or any other strategy, you should be able to identify a structure in the market and determine, you know, should I be looking to go long? Should I be looking to be go, uh, go short? It all really depends on how the market is moving. Correct. Are we breaking structure to the upside? Are we breaking areas of structure to the downside? All right, so uh, we could take a look at yesterday's trading session and we see that the market was moving to the upside here. You can see it making higher highs and higher lows and it broke above this area structure here at 164. So as it's moving to the upside and doing that, you know, we're looking for demand zones or demand setups, areas in which we can look to go long until the market um, changes the tide or the trend actually changes to where we were moving higher but then it starts to break structure back down uh, to the downside and then we can look for short opportunities all right so there's a kind of a two-way fold or two-way street situation here where the market is uh, moving higher here break structure and then it makes this high up here okay which means it must have hit some area of resistance uh, or possibly even an area of supply off to the left hand side of the chart but either way, we're just focusing in on an example here to show you signs in which to look for um, to get out of a trade. So basically a simple strategy that will, uh, as you can kind of gauge and looking at just momentum within the market. All right. You can use your 60 range chart or you can use a lower time frame or lower base chart like the 12 range. Um, so because we're using a lower base chart to get into a, a trade, correct, uh, based on uh, zone location or zone creation. So the market moves up here to this area, as you can see right here, and then it moves to the downside. OK, so we break structure below. So if we were once breaking structure to the upside and then the, 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 the uh, tide changes to where it now is breaking structure lower, then we want to look for we can look for an opportunity to go go short. Right. So it's kind of um, a two way street here because we have we're in between this high, excuse me, this low here and this high right here. We broke structure here, but we broke structure here, meaning we broke structure to the upside, but then we broke structure to the downside. So you could be looking for a two-way street there to where you can look for maybe shorts to go short or uh, maybe down to an area of demand, okay, or maybe an area of demand back into an area of supply. So just be careful when the market is kind of uh, in between a, 
um, in a in between situation where you have, say for example here, it made a low, now it has a high here and it's breaking structure lower. But anyways, this was a supply area or zone right here. Okay, the market ran down lower. We got aggressive selling, break structure. All we do is wait, we go ahead and mark the zone up, of course. And it's this is an untapped zone, okay? Where there's a gap at back at the zone. If you are questioning and maybe saying, well, what, what do you mean by gap or untested area? I talk about that and stress it in many, many videos. So spend some time watching the videos. The more you watch the videos, the more you become educated. So just get a pen and pad and start taking notes. The market pulls back to this zone right here. And then once it does that, we're just looking for, again, the remaining portion of the steps that take place with or to unfold within the strategy. OK, so at this case right here, uh, if we move down to the lower time frame, then we can find, you know, our example for our entry. OK, so the market taps into the higher time frame or higher base chart uh, zone, that, that rectangle right there. Uh, that blue rectangle area this is my lower time frame my lower base chart here uh the 12 range and all i'm looking for is, is is for the market to break structure to the downside and to set itself up to where we get a supply area so it pushes lower pulls back lower high breaks you know breaking structure right here pulls back creates a small area of supply right here looking for the pullback now it doesn't pull back to a tick to tick almost uh we're probably about two or three ticks right there and that's fine a lot of times they like to play games like that but when i see things like this and the momentum is to the downside we broke structure from the higher base chart and then it sets itself up to where i see a zone like right here and we, we, we are within a couple of ticks from tapping into the supply zone or this untested supply zone right here i'll take the trade if the momentum starts to, to shift back again to the downside meaning we're still you know bearish showing me bearish momentum and it does that it doesn't come all the way to the zone tick for tick like two or three ticks away and then what it does is we get a nice bearish candle to the downside closing with the next bearish candle that's enough momentum to a bearish momentum to the downside for me to be interested in going short because we're already at a higher base zone so area of supply this, this this box right here this rectangle okay so once we're into a trade you know i'll start looking over back at my uh, higher base chart to see what do the candles look like uh, as far as momentum, are we showing strong bearish candles to the downside? Yes, one here, closure of two here, but then we get this uh, bullish candle to the upside. But what I'm focusing in on, because we do have this pullback to this key area of uh, supply right here, where we broke structure right here, when we have a structural break like this to the downside, all right, and the market pulls back to it, I'm looking forward to run the lows here, and specifically because we haven't really broken any key area of or minor area of structure back to the upside here um, as it retraced back to this zone here, the supply zone. So I'm looking forward to take out below here at 128. But I'm also paying close attention to the uh, bearish candles to the downside right here. We get one, we get two, and then we get this um, bullish pullback candle right here, as you can see right here. Now, if it, pay close attention, if it closes above, all right, say for example here, this bearish candle right here to the, to the upside, then I'm going to be interested in probably going ahead and getting, getting out because the next candle may start forming to the upside being bullish as well. So I'm paying close attention to see how the, the, the candles right here, uh, as it's pulling back with this bullish candle here, how it's going to, you know, going to react, okay? What's the next candle that's going to form? So this candle here, this bullish candle here, closes right here, but the next candle is bearish, which tells me that we still have bullish, I'm mean, assuming still bearish momentum or bearish interest to continue to the downside right here. So uh, it continues pushing lower. All right, so if you notice right here, this bullish candle, it, it didn't close above this last down bearish candle where we had this momentum to the downside. It did pull back, it closed, but the next next candle, like I said, was, was bearish to the downside. If this bullish candle had continued pushing to the upside here and closed above this bullish candle, I mean, excuse me, this, this last bearish candle right here would have gotten out the trade, of course, um, because it's a strong signal that it's bullish momentum back to the upside. So, you know, to protect things, because more, more than likely, um, if you are getting into a trade, you're getting into it in this area right here somewhere, okay? Especially when you look at your lower time frame. But I'm looking again at my higher base chart here to see if, you, if you're using a higher base chart and you start to, you can, you can really identify the momentum by looking at these, you know, these candles here, um, these bearish candles. So if the market doesn't close above with the bullish, I mean, excuse me, with the bullish candle back to the upside here, um, but it does close right here and it doesn't close above the last bearish candle to the downside then it's still we still have interest of 
uh, bearish momentum to the downside. As you can see, the next candle closed here, and then the next one closed to the downside, and it broke up broke below here. Now, look what happens here. Once they take out the low right here, the market pushes up. We got a bullish candle right here. All right, now the momentum starts to shift. When you start to see multiple um, candles pushing back to the upside and a shift of momentum, meaning multiple candles moving in the opposite direction, meaning you have a shift in momentum, uh, you may want to go ahead and get out. If you get two closes of a candle to the upside with bullish momentum, maybe you want to just kind of cl close that trade out, especially if it closes above the last bearish candle here to the downside. You want to go ahead and protect your uh, profits and um, preserve you know, your capital at the same time so, it's not, so it doesn't come back up here, break above, say, a break-even point and stop you out. All right, so once it runs this low right here, be very careful because you're at an area of support already down here at the lows and the momentum can shift back to the upside all right so if we look over here at the lower time frame a lower base chart the market runs down here to what 124 so we would have gotten to the trade uh basically probably right right here at 169 okay and if you tried to hold it to run this low down here um below let's see what i say uh yeah 128 right here but it came down to 124 i believe so this is that low right here so you're into a trade okay if you take a look at it from a lower base chart, look at the momentum to the downside, all this bearish momentum right here. Okay. Now, if you're asking, well, can I do the same thing? If I start to notice where candles start to break back in the opposite direction on the, once I'm in the trade, I'm focusing on the, the lower base chart. Yeah, you could do so um, because you're taking the rejection. Once you get a break uh, on the lower base chart to the downside and a pullback to a key area of supply right here. Then you get the break and close of the candle below. That's the confirmation we need to get into the trade. It gives us the signal that the market is rejecting an area to push lower. You get all this bearish uh, momentum to the downside with these bearish candles right here. Again, look here. We get this bullish candle right here. Now, we're not quite to the, to the lows yet, right? No, we're not. So the, we get this bullish candle here to the upside, right? But it doesn't close above. It closes, but not above the last bearish candle. This next candle, it comes up. It starts to look like it's going to close above this area. It does push above it, but it doesn't close. It turns back around and ends up being a bearish candle, bearish candle. Now, pay close, close attention here because this is maybe where you probably may want to get out the trade. If you're trading based on, um, you know, looking at the shift of the momentum to the upside or the downside, if we're looking solely at the 12 range chart, okay, the lower base chart, because here, this is where we get this bullish candle to the upside and then the next one closes above it so maybe you're getting out here at 162 so you know in, in in reality you got in probably the trade maybe here at 170 or down here at 169 and then the market comes back to 162 maybe you locked in seven points of profit right there but you also want to keep in mind the higher base chart because you know it's going to be king in relation to um you know with the lower base chart the higher base chart is going to have more power okay in a sense or more strength when we're looking in terms of the overall momentum of the candles here one uh one bearish candle second bearish candle that's a lot of bearish momentum to the downside so for me i'm going to hold the trade just as long as it doesn't come back and uh, break above uh let's see here my entry point would have been somewhere like right here so i give myself a couple of stops um uh, couple points breathing room right here so maybe back at 175 176 you know at the back end right here where i would have potentially gotten to the trade at so 175 176 the market never comes back to that area because again the higher base chart it ha holds more power than what's going on on the lower base chart but if you are you know someone that's very conservative and you want to lock in your profits and trading Again, we're taking the trades off of the lower time frame, and you get the pullback here where this momentum shift on the the, the, uh, the lower base chart. Then go ahead and got the trade lock in your seven points. But if you're someone that really understands and looking at what's going on in the market from a higher base pr perspective, when we see, you know, those big bearish moment um, uh, momentum candles to the downside, then maybe try to hold a trade through to see if it's going to come down here and <clears throat> excuse me, take out the low here at 128, and which it does. Okay. Uh, again, you can take a look back and forth between two charts to see, okay, you know, what's going on on the higher base chart. Have we broke above here with the bullish candle back to the upside? Nope. It flipped, went back and pushed lower with two additional um, more bearish candles to the downside. So just pay close attention to candle formations as well. 
um because that's going to kind of tell you about momentum in the market you know is it turning back around is it going to push back higher we have multiple bullish candles of momentum to the upside so pay close attention to things like that and that's going to help you um for one maximize your profits be able to hold a trade longer through and prevent you from getting stopped out just as well all right so hopefully this video helped and if you're a first time viewer you know you're not quite a sub yet what are you waiting for you know I, there's plenty of good content valuable information that i cover here on the channel uh, i go into detail on many 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 videos here uh, um, explaining the strategy and how i trade it it's very profitable um, and the reason why i say so is because we have successful traders that trade pretty much similar to the exact same way but watching and they've learned through watching the videos here on this channel they've educated themselves i'm self-taught i educated myself and that's why i created these uh, videos and put them out here and have so much video content because i truly want to see people succeed and become profitable so i'll make it accessible for you here on the um the the channel here so all you have to do is get a pen and pad take notes just as we have many that are part of our discord community and if you're interested in joining the discord community the link is down in the description portion of the video it's free of charge to, to join but we have many discord members that have spent time watching the videos coming over to the channel you know um looking at certain you know looking at trades because they're on the discord channel or server there's a channel titled the trading floor and that's where we as traders come together and we share you know our trading okay i uh, meaning screenshots of our trades and i post pretty much there on the daily and lots of times what i'll do is i'll uh, create trade breakdowns you know i may post the trade over on the discord but um i take those trades and i go into detail about them toward with you know uh with our private community and these are the elite channel um supporters or elite channel members and they receive the trade breakdowns that's where i go into detail and really go into depth about the trades i take so if you're interested in becoming an elite channel supporter because that's what it is you're supporting me and the efforts of me uh, being a content creator by providing this you know this valuable information to you the trade breakdowns again if you want to become an elite member is six dollars and 99 cent all you have to do is you'll find the link right down in the description portion of the video you'll see a link that says become an elite member it's monthly that's all it is six dollars and 99 cent but you receive the trade breakdowns to where i go into great detail about the trades and i focus in on why i took those trades and talk about where to take profit at and where to place a stop set things of that nature so you get grasping understanding about the strategy and the trade in itself so maybe you're educating yourself with the strategy on the channel but you aren't quite clear enough about you know trade entries or where to get into a trade at that's where the trade breakdowns come in to play so if you're interested in becoming an elite member find that link down in the description portion of the video but you also receive the video playlist as well and the smaller other uh, perks that you receive as part of the YouTube tier platform uh, program, which is the tier based program through YouTube. Okay. So if you're interested in supporting my efforts and receiving those perks, like I said, the trade breakdowns and the video playlist, all you got to do is find the link down in the description portion of the video. Outside of that, if you're not a current subscriber, please take the time to go ahead and sub by clicking on the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on all your post notifications. And last but not least, please do me a, the biggest favor and drop a like on the video if you found value in today's content. Um, I appreciate it. Thank, take, uh, take care.